Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update this channel daily. If you like this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing a 2016 evolution of the long-running Patek Philippe 5396. In this case, the 5396G014, a special series for the 20th anniversary of the original Patek Philippe annual calendar. Back in 1996, they invented the annual calendar. And this special Ardoise silver dial with White Gold Breguet numerals was a celebration, a birthday present, if you will, for the mechanism that Patek Philippe introduced to the watch industry. So this is an easy watch to wear. In 2016, 38.5 millimeters was closer to a traditional size than a modern men's dress watch size, but that means that the watch wears well on a broad range of wrists. Across the wrist, lug to lug, it's only 46.9 millimeters, so you can wear this one easily on a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. You can see my wrist at 16 centimeters circumference wears it easily, and you could easily neck down to a smaller wrist size. But make no mistake, even if your wrist is big, this thing has gravitas. It's a precious metal Patek Philippe complication. It doesn't matter if you have a tree trunk, this thing's going to look right at home. It's punchy above its weight. 11.5 millimeters thick with a conical bezel profile. It does slide easily underneath dress cuffs, and you'll be surprised that it has a 21 millimeter lug spacing, which is quite generous for a 38.5 millimeter watch. It gives the watch a contemporary broad stance lengthwise across the wrist. The strap is a large rectangle rectangular scale matte finish black alligator leather monotone stitch folded edge and it uses Patek's contemporary pull tab spring bars so you can easily dress down the watch for swapping straps or simply cleaning deeply between the lugs. Filigree style Calatrava cross atop a fully finished gray gold, that is white gold solid, white gold, gray gold, Patek Philippe single fold deployant. The timepiece features the same alloy about its case, and I better go deeper into what I'm talking about when I say gray gold. It's white gold 18 karat, but whereas traditional white gold needs to be rhodium plated over a milky yellow base, gray gold, which has the same look, can get scratched and scuffed, and there's just more white metal underneath. It never needs to be replated. That's why it's called gray gold and not white gold. You'll note that the case band is simple. The lugs are rather traditional in their form, inspired by the Calatrava, integrated into the case, form following function. They're not overplayed. The case band is defined by that swell of the lug lines and then the interaction of the junction between case band and bezel. There's a vertical component to the bezel and then a conical component, and that conical component gives way to a very minimally domed sapphire. And this is where the watch gets interesting because now we're talking about the 2016 special edition content. It's not a limited series. It wasn't limited production, but it was a special dial for that year featuring the exceptional silver metallic gray that you see in sunburst fashion with a spectacular and explosive radial grain, and then those hand-applied polished white gold Breguet numerals. Breguet numerals have always been special on Patek Philippe watches. They're never overexposed by excessive production. They're generally saved for special pieces, either special anniversaries, occasions, limited editions, or in rare instances, anniversaries of mechanical engineering breakthroughs, as you see here. Dimple style, minutes and seconds track outboard, center seconds, counterweighted lancet style seconds hand in white gold, and faceted Dauphine style hands for hours and minutes in white gold. Slightly sunken register for the 24-hour track. That gives you AM, PM distinction. You can see it's actually in the evening. So are we looking at, for example, 316 in the morning or 316 in the evening? Well, we know because we have that AM, PM indicator that tells us, but it's also a danger zone indicator so you know when not to use the push registers for the annual calendar system. So the timepiece features a traditional crescent style moon phase and it's not black it is a very dark navy blue and there's a faceted aperture for the date at six o'clock the annual calendar mechanism invented by Patek needs to be adjusted only once per year during the transition from February to March a conventional simple triple calendar needs to be adjusted five times so the annual gives you most of the advantage of a perpetual without the extra cost and the extra clutter of a leap year cycle indicator. Now turning the watch over you can see snapback case 30 meters water resistant. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer here and give our, our camera a bit more light to work with. By the way, if you want to see that dial with a bit more light, this is how it looks. Extremely reactive radial grain to that sunburst. 
turning the watch upside down and backwards. Now we can appreciate the Caliber 324, and this one is an alphabet soup. It's the 324 QA Contium Annual, it's an annual calendar, 24H, 24 hour. It's a LU, so it's a moon phase, and it's an S for center seconds. Beats away at 4 Hz, 28,800 vibrations per hour, 35 to 45 hour power reserve, wound by unidirectional action with ceramic rotor bearings. You will note that there's a Gyromax style free sprung balance to take and hold a precise regulation in six positions, one more than the chronometer standard, but Tech Philippe seal and a Spiromax silicon hairspring. The combination of those features helping the watch to attain its factory rated minus three plus two second per day timing precision. Moreover, the watch features fine finish on par with anything from the old Geneva Hallmark days or beyond. Let's see if we can get some of those details into high res with better focus. You can see at center, there is a micro prolage on the rotor at center in spiral fashion and a macro prolage on the base plate. You'll also note that the reduction wheel, and it's a combination reduction and click wheel right next to the winding system, also features a prolage. Circular Cote de Genève and engraved Calatrava cross on the winding mass. You can see linear Cote de Genève perfectly aligned across the bridges. The edge of every bridge, and you can really see it from this angle, mirror reflection perfectly rounded. That is the angle of which you may have heard, polished and executed by hand, not the sick, straight machined bevel that you'll see on cheaper watches. You'll also note that polish around the lips of all of the jewel and screw countersinks executed the same way. The watch featuring screw quality such that if you were to withdraw the screw with their black polished heads, you would find that the pilot, that is the threaded stalk underneath the screw, features a tip that is mirror polished. That is Geneva Hallmark standard, and while the Geneva Hallmark fell by the wayside at Patek for the Patek Philippe seal in mid-2009, the standards remain upheld to this day. Beautiful on the inside, beautiful on the outside. This is the Patek Philippe 5396G-014 annual calendar in white gold.